Hey, Marcus Conti reporting. This is a uh, story. This is going to be a crowdsource. Um, we're, we're a community, right? Everybody claims they're all a big community, crowdsourcing community. So. All right. Here's your chance to prove it. Right? Because this is out of my lane a little bit, right? And I know a lot of people are very um, genuinely concerned with uh, the, the abuse of children, right? It's Pizzagate stuff, right? I don't really follow it, and I don't know a lot about it. But I do know that uh, a lot of people believe that a lot of the elites have these kind of um, child, you know, ch child exploitation, child uh, uh, trafficking operations uh, where they use second party and third party people like, you know, get, got in-betweens to get children to perform sex acts. And, and, and we, we know that it's... It, uh, for the most part, true situations like a Anthony Weiner, where he's l luring in a teenage girl or 15 year old girl. But anyway, so this is a breaking story, breaking news. There's an operation in um, reading from the the Mesa Mesa crime blog, uh, Mesa Mesa, Arizona. Right. So Mesa police detectives partnered with Tempe blah blah blahs an un undercover operation targeting the demand for check child sex crimes and human trafficking over six days officers and undercover police placed ads on websites commonly sought out by suspects seeking illegal sex acts the suspects solicited and or brokered deals for various sex acts and were subsequently arrested the suspects uh, each year mesa police conduct operations in, of this type continuous efforts to reduce the demand that fuels child and human trafficking from our communities. The suspect suspects in the latest operation range from ages 21 to 80. They're all male. Crimes involving children are of the highest priority, blah, blah, blah. So go, here's, here's what we do. We go there, right? I put the link down below. Very easy to find. Get off your ass and do it. <laughs> here's, the, here's, the, here's the news release. They provide pictures of all these all the slime bags, all these old dirty old men that want to have sex with children. What kind of crimes? What kind of crimes did they commit? Real crimes. Luring a minor. There's 20, how many of them? It's a lot of them. How many did I say? It's more than 12. It's more than 12. There's like, uh, it looks like, like 20, 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6, 12, 18, 24. There's like 30 of them. All right, so so luring a minor, child sex trafficking, sex abuse, aggravated luring, sex exploitation, aggravated luring, aggravated luring, uh, luring, sale of marijuana in Arizona, sex trafficking, child trafficking. Okay, so a lot of these guys seem to have been either luring in children for their own their own sexual deviance or they are um they are part of a, a higher a high, pay for play where they're taking the kids in they're selling it they're like brokering children that's what it seems to be a little of both now this is a lone wolf story right is this a breaking pizzagate story where the elites are are, are you know there's this this very um very structured uh place where people go to buy children to exploit them to traffic them no this seems to be more of a lone wolf situation where <clears throat> here's the thing right and 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 again all the um all the addresses and phone numbers are are are, are nicely published right the mesa numbers right see them it's hard to see but but you see the see the numbers there police department call those numbers and find out what were the six what were the six um, uh, websites that were openly operating and being used as a forefront, as, a, as, as ground zero for trafficking children? How dare them continue to allow something like that to happen? So there's exposure there. But again, it seems like a, this is a, a lone wolf story, and it seems to fly in the face of the Pizzagate theory where it's very organized, right? These are lone wolves. These are 22-some-odd men, right, running around you know soliciting on websites trying to trying to lure children into to deviance deviant sex acts as opposed to the very organized uh, uh form of 
you know, elite, elite child trafficking where, where Bill Clinton gets on a plane and the plane flies 30,000 feet above, you know, the earth. And, and all these rich guys have sex with kids and teenagers and hookers and whatever it's, you know, s smoking crack and whatever else they're doing up there in the plane, right? This is different, right? This is, this is kind of like a more of a ground zero down, you know, down or, or, or is it? Is it connected in some way? I don't know. But I, I do know that it would be very interesting. And I'm far too lazy to actually do this. <laughs> to actually call around, call the Mesa uh, police, right? And find out if what the websites were. That's the first thing. That that if they're if they're using these websites as a sting operation, and then they don't, you know, they're setting up detectives to go after child predators. And then they don't disclose the the website. That's kind of fucked up, right? We should know the websites, right? At a bare minimum, right? It's a good it's a good catch. It's real it's a really good catch, if you ask me, you know. Um, but again, it it is it is contrary to the to the PizzaGate um, idea of elites soliciting exclusively and this seems to think it it it, it discloses it, it definitely discloses the the um deviant demand for sex with children right that's what it definitely it definitely discloses that but it doesn't it doesn't tie in to the bigger picture but i think that the bigger picture is here it's just that they haven't it it leads back to the elites it leads to deeper corruption and i think that police station like at mesa you know in arizona a local police station of detectives is going to stop right there they're going to keep it at the lone wolf theory but where do these guys if we research the names you have the names published now you know that they're all in arizona people in arizona get busy that dial some phone numbers go knock on some doors right let's see if we could actually you know actually see if this crowdsourcing thing works rather than crowdsourcing one guy's you know bank account <laughs> let's let's try to try to make let's try to go out and see and you know and report back and 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 uh and see if we can make a dent in the in this in this uh disgusting really i mean it's just fucking lewd you know where you got an 80 year old guy soliciting sex with a child I don't know, man. It's a, it's a it's a messed up world, you know. It's a messed up world. But let's be let's try to be at least at least honest in what's going on. Is it a higher conspiracy? A higher conspiracy where where children are rounded up and then fed to the rich on a silver platter, or is it more of the or more of the lone wolf theory where 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 guys go into isolation or. Uh, I, I I suspect that, that there's other it's not just men, but these these kind of individuals go into a, a secluded area and they they seek out this very deviant form of sex with children for whatever reason, for whatever their their, their dysfunction is. Criminal criminal behavior, right? Is it is it is it the lone wolf theory or is it more of a higher Pizza gay theory. I think that that's what we can find out a little more about in this study, or is it a combination of the both? Uh, a combination of both, where the lone wolf lures in the child and then, you know, you know, uh, softens up the target and then delivers it to the to the elite. I think the answers to those questions lie in the in the uh, the the witness the the actual accused themselves and quite possibly what the police in Mesa, Arizona have found out about these 24, 25 individuals, right? So, um, so again, Pizzagate people, get busy on this. You know, this is a real story. This is, this is breaking in Arizona. Is it isolated in Arizona? Are there other sting operations across the country? I mean, this is massive. Where are those websites? What websites were actually opening the door to this kind of behavior without filtering it out, right? My name is Marcus Conti reporting, also a candidate for the United States Senate. While you're here, buy some stickers. These, these are great fucking stickers, by the way. I haven't talked about these in a while. But these are my stickers, and I'm a, a candidate for the United States Senate. And, and uh, you can buy these on eBay if you have some other, you know, if you don't have an eBay account, get, you know, get in touch with me, and I'll 
You could do some PayPal or something, and I get you some stickers, man. You can fucking love these stickers, man. Peace out. Peace out.